Hey guys, what's up? By Stacktron here from One Hive Gazette, here with my next war recap video. And let's take a look at the arranged war against Cold September. Um, very good job by both sides, a very close war, and um, a fun one, definitely a fun one. Had some great attacks, and uh, it was kind of good for One Hive Genesis to bounce back a little bit because we were in a bit of a uh, rough patch of the last few arranged wars we, we struggled in. So, um, got the job done today or at least when the war ended last weekend. And you can see here, um, basically they did the standard, uh, three starred all the nines, two starred <clears throat> our tens, uh, and then the difference was the three star by Predator. So we'll take a look at that, as well as a few others. Um, got a lot of different attacks for you guys today, and I am saving some. I plan on doing a how-to uh, drag loon zap quake queen walk type thing. Uh, kind of the new attack where you you know do the queen walk and then uh, use the dragons at Town Hall 9, so uh, stay tuned for that. I should have that coming out soon, uh, assuming I go through with it, because I have saved a few attacks for it. Um, but for this recap, we're going to take a look at some of the other stuff. Um, I'm not obviously not going to show us the stuff I used in the Mass Witch video, uh, so I do have quite a few attacks being pulled out for various other videos, uh, but we're going to take a look at the ones that I'm not using, because <clears throat> there's still some great attacks, and, uh, you know, also some great ones like I don't even have time to show. Uh, so an abundance of attacks to show. But let's take a look at Trigger Man. Um, this is a two star and I'm, I think his kind of, this is at the end of the war I think. So his goal is just to get either a high percentage two star and maybe get luck and get the three star. Uh, but I think um, mainly right here just going for, uh, realistically going for two stars and, and does a good job doing it. With kind of a unique army comp that you don't see that much at Town Hall 10. So just thought it would be cool to show. Because uh, it definitely works for two stars, and you know, if there's a buff to Town Hall 10, it can be extended into the three star game, hopefully. So, uh, we'll just have to see what Supercell does with that. But anyway, it uh, does the Queen Walk, uh, lets her kind of walk up top here, drops a few wall breakers, to let her into that compartment. Meanwhile, drops down a few golems, a giant, a wizard to create the funnel. Gonna come in with his king and the Valks up there, I believe. Uh, the queen's taking out that wizard tower. She's gonna step up and take out those heroes as well. Uh, but wall breakers in the on the top left there. Golems are taking quite a bit of damage, so has to go ahead and get the the Valks going quickly with the king. Drops a rage for his queen on the other side to keep her up. She's gonna take out the heroes, like I said. Uh, out comes the CC. But that Lava Hound's not going to do a whole lot against his Valks and the King because they're not going to even be uh, caught up on it. They'll just ignore it, so that's great. I uh, drops the Poison on the enemy Queen. That helps his Queen take her out a little bit easier. And you can see that Jump Spell is going to let all the troops continue to move forward. Um, I think that Jump could have been a little bit higher up to let those troops get to the Tesla because I think they had to beat through the wall there, but um, I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong, but that's kind of what I was thinking as I was watching it the first time. Uh, the queen still making her way through at full health, taking out that wizard tower, and his troops continuing to advance. Um, he might have wanted to use the hogs a little bit earlier, while the inferno was still distracted, while the uh, some of that point defense was distracted. But by the time the hogs get here, uh, everything's turned around and facing them. Has the scalies pop, and obviously no heal spells left for them. So the level five hogs are going to go down uh, almost instantly to all those defenses. Uh, but drops a few wizards just to get a few more percentage. Already over 50%, up to 60 by now, and has the queen still working on the Lava Hound, although she is in range of that Inferno, so she's going to go down quickly. Uh, but the Lava Hound busts, and that's pretty much it for the queen. Uh, drops a few more wizards just to get the last few buildings to get a little bit higher in percentage. Um, ends up getting to around 65%, I believe. So has two more archers uh, that he hasn't deployed yet. Uh, we'll go ahead and fast forward, because uh, the queen actually does survive, but then goes back down very quickly. Um, drops the last few archers right here. And gets another two buildings, so I think 67% is about where he ends this one. So, great attack to Trigger Man, and um, hopefully we start seeing people at Town Hall 10 using this to three-star uh, after an update that might help uh, help out the ground game at Town Hall 10 as far as three-stars go. Um, but anyway, let's take a look at that three-star that was the difference. And of course it was a, a go la loon, or rather a la loon with a queen walk attack, because um, that's kind of the, the three-star game at Town Hall 10 right now. Um, but it's Predator dropping down his queen for a queen walk. Um, I'm, I think a Town Hall 9 kind of did the scout and tested this out first. Uh, so he ha had a little bit of, um, a little bit of testing as far as what, what was going to work here. He's able to see the queen walk happen, I believe. I never actually saw that first one if it did happen, but, but anyway, um, using some wall breakers to let the queen into that first compartment. Uh, she's basically going to go in here, take out the, uh, archer tower, 
uh, and make your way into there. The goal is to get the air defense and then the Inferno Tower. He has a freeze uh, specifically for that one Inferno Tower. So he's basically hoping to uh, freeze it long enough for the queen to be able to lock on and take it out before it takes her out. Because remember, those healers aren't going to do anything while she's under the Inferno. Uh, the ray from the Inferno. But takes off the Lava Hound here. Just one point defense on her. Uh, pause for a sip of water. Um, Lava Hound busts and all the pups come out. Drops a minion, which is always a nice touch, just to help those healers out in case the queen skips one of the Lava Pups by accident. But all good. And drops the freeze, like I said. Excellent pr placement. Uh, freezes the Expo too. Not that she really needed it, but uh, the queen, the queen's pretty much fine. But uh, right here, she's taking a lot of damage. Has to pop the ability. But the next building is the Inferno Tower. It goes down, so the healers are once again able to heal, heal her back up, even though there are quite a few point defense on her. But she's going to continue to walk, uh, take out more buildings, has a few minions up top to make sure she doesn't try to walk back out of this base. She's going to keep me moving uh, forward, even if she has to beat through the wall. Uh, so he has to wait a little bit for her to continue to do stuff as she locks onto that wall right here. Uh, drops down the king. Perfect placement there. He's just going to go up to that one wall and just knock his way through it and get to that test leg, get to the air defense, <clears throat> and get to the queen, uh, which is the all-important thing here. So excellent planning on uh, on Predator's part to be able to get all that done. Uh, it takes a little bit for the king to beat through, but eventually he will make his way through. It would have been nice if that rage had affected him, but it doesn't matter. He's not taking any damage anyway. Uh, right here, actually, his queen takes out the enemy queen, uh, so the king is basically just going for the air defense at this point, uh, which he does get as soon as he beats that wall. Queen is about to step up and get that next air defense, so huge value for just his healers, the spells, and then, um, and yeah, a few wall breakers and a few wizards and minions. Uh, but anyway, comes in with two lava hounds and just balloons all over the place. I love how he started those minions and those wizards stuff so early because at Town Hall 10 you have so little time when you think about it because you have to do that long queen walk. Um, basically by the time you deploy your balloons you have about 45 seconds to get the base taken out. So right after those balloons go down the minions are already cleaning up along with the wizards and they're actually getting in the haste spells so they're going very quickly. All the balloons converge right there in the inferno tower and the air defense. Uh, doesn't have any spells left, but those balloons just smother the air defense. Has so many left, one he didn't even deploy. And like I said, the cleanup started so early uh, that basically by the time the balloons are done, the cleanup's pretty much almost done. Uh, so many so many troops left up. The king's still at full health there with the healers. Um, awesome attack to Predator, getting the job done. Uh, how close was this on time? I'm just curious. Uh, okay, had about 12 seconds left, so not extremely close, but was getting down to it. Um, anyway... Awesome attack there. That was the difference in the war, obviously. Let's take a look at 007. Um, doing a Govaho. Nice to see here, and it worked out very nicely for him. Uh, drops down the queen right there. Uh, Going to drop a wizard to break the funnel up there. And just let her walk down south, or down east to the right side of the screen. And then is going to send his kill squad in on the left side. Uh, so she's kind of helping to create the funnel. <clears throat> Along with all those minions in there. Uh, just getting the funnel going early, which is always nice to see here. Uh, so Queen takes that out. She's going to continue on her walk and just make her way to the right. That three-point defense, just a uh, fair game for her to take out, plus the king, I believe, uh, she gets to at one point or another if the Valks don't. I forget what gets the king, but the hogs don't have to deal with it, and that's the great part of this attack. Um, so you can see the queen continuing on her walk. The minions create the funnel over there. Almost got that builder's half, but it's still not going to be that much of an issue. It's not too close to where they're entering the base. So right here, the queen steps up and gets the, the um, wizard tower and continues on her walk around the base. Goes ahead and deploys the CC golem in just a moment, letting the queen walk a little bit more. Um, I guess he wanted to see if the king was going to engage, and right there, boom, he comes out. Uh, so the queen one-on-one -on -one against the king, and typically the king wins that battle, but with all the healers on the queen, um, she's able to win. She is two levels higher, uh, so it was getting down there, but uh, gets the king taken out, so all good. She'll get healed back up before she engages any more defenses. Comes in with the golem here, and then a wizard behind. Um, I like when people drop wizards with their kill squad. 
Uh, maybe not in this attack as much because it's a, it's a Lava Hound in the CC. But when you're not worried about a Lava Hound, and uh, I would always drop a few Wizards behind your kill squad. You already have the tanking out in front. Might as well get some more value for them because uh, the Wizards do quite a bit of damage. And as long as they're protected, it's definitely worth that four troop space, in my opinion, uh, in most of the time. Maybe not in this attack because of the Lava Hound. You don't want to bust it. Uh, but that's another issue in its own right. Uh, drops basically all his spells for the Valks. Has a Rage. Um, two jumps let them all the way through the base and then a heal so they're basically just mowing right through this entire base the king has to backtrack but he meets up with them and then these 16 hogs have about three or four distracted defenses so i'm pretty sure a hog was never targeted this entire attack until right now by that expo uh, so maybe lost like three hogs or a spring trap but that's pretty much it i uh, just tore through this base and then right here they'll take out the last defense king and queen are both uh, full health has wizards doing a cleanup as well. Um, just completely wrecked this base. Seven hogs in the bag, just goes ahead and drops them down for cleanup. Uh, but just insane how he, how he destroyed this base. Uh, great planning, worked out very nicely that the Tesla farm was right there. Valks are great at taking out Tesla farms, especially when they're kind of compact like that. Cause they just, one, one swing from a group of Valks and the, all the Teslas are going down. Um, awesome attack to 007 though, great job. All right, let's take a look at a three star on a bit of a lower level town hall nine and this kind of fits in with the attack strategy video i just put out um the mass witch strategy which you might guys might have just seen uh but we have riff x3 doing it here and only has level one witches and only has 10 10 heroes and this is a this is a bit of a menacing base for that level of troops because pretty much maxed out has the uh Teenage Queen and the 20 King. So that's a tough base to take out, but comes in here uh, with, f I believe, four witches, and I think there was a Golem in the CC. Yeah, a Golem in the CC. Drops the poison to help out in the heroes. So much damage coming in right here, and there's a lot of point de defense especially, uh, but the troops just keep making their way through. The witches are spawning skeletons uh, very quickly, and they're going to basically hop right in there, take out the heroes, get all those Teslas, the giant bomb location right there. Now he's flanking these defenses with the hogs. Very nice there. That's going to protect his witches a little bit better so they don't get flanked. Um, drops that first heal. Great value there, covering that huge group of defenses. Uh, they're going to keep making their way through, always hogs. Um, that second heal, maybe a little bit early, but uh, still it's covering a lot of defenses. He's going to get pretty good value for it. And then still has his queen, pops the ability. Uh, she's doing good on her own up top, taking out mortars. Uh, still has some witches up at the bottom. Uh, I think like three of his uh, four witches are still up, and they are stuck on a wall, but at least they're spawning skeletons, and the hogs are getting the job done on their own, though, uh, taking out these last few defenses. Very nice here. Uh, they do hit that giant bomb right there, but don't hit the second one, maybe by luck, but works out nicely. The queen, I guess, helped clear out the other side of the double giant bomb set. Uh, so the hogs are free to clean up here. Has quite a few of them left, actually, too. So a very nice attack by a Town Hall 9 uh, with only 10, 10 heroes and level 1 witches. Uh, but gets the job done, nevertheless. So awesome attack to Riff. I believe our bottom person in this war. Unfortunately, don't have any Town Hall 8 attacks just because um, it, there was no Town Hall 8s in the war. So not much I can do there. But if there is a future war where we have some good Town Hall 8 attacks and some good bases... I'll be sure to show them. All right, I did have a bit of an issue with the recording, but that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed the attacks. Um, I'll have that attack strategy video coming out, so you're going to see a lot of attacks in total from this video between the recap and the two attack strategies uh, that you saw. But hope you guys enjoyed this recap nonetheless. Uh, sorry about the recording issue. Just going to splice this in. Uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye, Sectatron out.